So I did a brief look at the docket, and it looks like it wasn't cleared last meeting again. So <laughs> it's broken, I think is why. Sky said that it only can be cleared by basically him going into the back end and wiping out everything on the docket and then restarting. So I think I'll just have to send him a message after we're done today. If there's nothing that needs, if there's nothing that needs to stay for next meeting, then we'll just anyway, wipe it out. All right. So uh, there are two closed things, and I think we discussed both of them last time in close. So then we're going to ignore those because they're from many weeks ago. Uh, Christmas party. I believe we went over that yet last week, but just as a reminder, uh, in the announcements channel, uh, there's a nice poster that Neo put together. I think, I believe Neo put together. If someone else did, please correct me. Uh, there's a special version of next nook coming up this week on Tuesday. Um, going to be reading some Christmas stories, I believe. Uh, and then also on Wednesday is the Christmas game night, I believe, Kessa. Is that correct? Yeah, on Wednesday I'm going to have game night as usual, but I'll be giving away extra keys, uh, assuming anybody comes, because it's okay. also holidays. So. <laughs> we'll probably put a couple more announcements out for that. Yeah. Uh, and then the week after Monday, we are going to do Christmas caroling and sing-alongs. And then next week's, uh, the 23rd Wednesday, is also going to be a special Jackbox game night, apparently. Yeah, basically going up toward Christmas, I'm just I'm going to be giving away more keys. Okay. Uh, last week, two people came. They each got a key and went home because there weren't enough people to play. So please show up if you can. If you want to, even if you just want to listen in and play a different game, if you're not really doing anything and you just want to hang out, it's always a fun time to just sit around and listen to the hilarity. Um, even if it uh, you aren't in, in, involved in it. Um, there also is the audience, so you can always interact that way too. All right, the doc disappeared before I got to the next one. Kessa, you have a thing here for Minecraft server future. Is that something? What was that exactly? Here. Oh, thank you. That um, uh, shoot. Okay, I got one extra item in there that I didn't. But okay, so forget the closed one. Um, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm just, don't worry. I think that, that was something I wanted to ask if if there were any Minecraft people here, and I already got a couple opinions. They agreed with Amroth that like it's not worth resetting the server until the big update. And then you know we can discuss the details then. So, but I did I wanted to um if there were any Minecraft people at the meeting, I wanted to ask their opinion. I think Everett's the only one. I think Amos, you've played on Minecraft, haven't you? So we're just kind of looking to see what people's opinions of the Minecraft server and what they're if they're planning to get back into it, if they're planning for the just waiting for the next update to come out. So we're just looking for people's opinions on the server status. Just as a refer, uh, just as a heads up, we have noticed that there have been about four people connected, different unique users in the last three weeks. So it's notice that we're not getting a lot of unique users, but we're still getting traffic. So looking for people's opinions on that. Gotcha. Just for the video, the voice record, uh, Amos has said that he's pretty much giving up gaming to focus on his writing right now, so he's not sure if he's going to be getting back into it. Um, Amroth, my opinion on it, I think I've, I've talked to Kessa about this already. I don't know if I've talked to you about it too much. Um, Minecraft servers in general can be a little bit more short-lived than other games just because of the nature of the game. Um, I think I've gone over... I've gone over before and I don't think it's necessary to go over why Minecraft servers die out when mm -hmm. they do. Um, most people that play understand that and understand the regular flow. I do have, I would definitely love to do another server when, uh, when the next update drops. Cause it, cause of how Minecraft updates have been pretty recently, they've been large enough to warrant 
you know, restarting the world. Um, I just personally wanted a backup of the, the regular world because I really enjoyed playing it and it would be fun to have a little backup of it just for history's sake. Um, but my, my opinion on it would be, and I'd, I'd love to know interest on it, would be if there were any other people that would be willing to do a server. I've got some ideas. I would love to do a, a Minecraft server when the next vanilla update drops, but it'd also be fun to do a, a modded server because I know there's some people interested in that. So it, it'd be, it'd be, in my opinion, worth gathering if there's enough people interested in doing a modded server in between the amount of time. Um, but yeah. That's my uh, that's my opinion on it, but I, I I don't know if shutting it down would be the best idea. That obviously have to talk to Sky if he wanted to uh, if he wanted to a lot more resources for other things because there's definitely not a lot of people playing it. It would be nice if I don't know if anybody in this channel has played it recently. Um, if I go down to she don't know if I go down to the relay, it looks like Pancake AJ and a couple other people. I've been on the server mm -hmm. this month, but uh, doesn't yeah, look that's like what I was getting my four unique users activity. in the last four weeks. Yeah, doesn't look like there's been a lot of activity, and it, it, it doesn't really, I, I don't know if it warrants keeping it active too much longer. It just depends on if Sky wants to free up that space. Yeah, I'm just copy pasting Amros comment uh, for the notes mm -hmm. because I think that sums it up perfectly. Mm -hmm. In short, I definitely think that most people that play Minecraft would like to do a server when the next update drops. Um, yes. I think and that's definitely something we're looking at. Um, and just as a reference point also, I'll probably put a message in the chat as well, but uh, Sky has said that it isn't going to be a strain on okay. resources leaving the server up. I didn't think so, it because they don't take a lot. No, but just want to get people's opinions on if they want to try and do something to try and keep it going so people are actually on it do people want to just let it die and leave it until the new update i'm, I'm my opinion on it is either if we want to do a modded playthrough if there's enough people that were interested in that right now sure let's switch that out if not i don't see any reason why we can't just leave it until the next update um and i i would be i would love to be a part of any planning for the next server because based on from you know just a player standpoint i have plenty of ideas of what i think might might help it just last longer and also be a little bit smoother i believe you're referring to the 1.17 update that includes the cave update right yes i'm specifically referring to the cave update that's slated to launch in the, in the summer i believe last time i checked oh wow so it's more than six months away it's um well hold on if, it, if it's summer, that's June next year at the earliest. Summer 2021 is as much as we know, as far as I'm aware. Ooh. Yeah, so like it's it's going to be a while. That's let's see, upcoming. In, okay. Yeah, it looks like it is slated for summer. But yeah. So maybe a better way to put this, and maybe we'll try and actually use the Minecraft channel as well, just because we have people there. I might. I think what I'll probably do, uh, well, I'll discuss it with some of the council and see what they think, but might put a, an actual feeler out in the Minecraft channel to see what people would think about putting up a modded server. I think there would be it'd be worth gauging interest because there's plenty of time to do a full mod playthrough before the next update. So like, if that's something people would be willing to do, definitely figure out, hey, who wants to do this and then get that going? Because um, once the cave's update comes out i think everybody's going to probably want to do just vanilla a vanilla playthrough i know i at least i would love to with the cave update yeah with the new cave update so do a new map get something new going because I, I the server was a really big hit and i definitely think it could be the same if not a better hit um with the next iteration um i i have some ideas on some ways to improve some stuff uh, but nonetheless, I think we should definitely uh, definitely start planning for that. Maybe maybe in March of next year or a couple months later, at least a month or two before the server, the update drops. Probably some more like May or April, I think, based on probably expected release time. Mm -hmm.
am I hearing correctly that there's a caves update and a another update? Are there are there different updates incoming? So there's a caves and cliffs update that's slated for summer of next year. Um, generally, they're gonna how they've done the um, how they've done the updates have been about yearly and pretty pretty large in the amount of content that warrants creating a new world and playing through it to get all the new content. And based on what I've looked at, it's going to be one of the biggest updates they've done in a really long time. So it's definitely it's definitely excited. I know I'm excited about it, and a lot of people in the community are. Um, but there's not going to be any up other updates that I know of in between. And they usually run some beta tests. Um, but other than that, it's not going to be other, any other primary updates in between then. Now, mods are a totally different thing, and they kind of require a lot of different setup. So the idea that Amroth and me both were bouncing around is that we could do a modded playthrough because there's yeah. plenty of time in between now and then to do so. We just have to gauge interest on which mod to play. I know a couple of people mentioned Feed the Beast would be decent. Um, but we'd have to gauge some interest maybe in the Minecraft chat to see if that's something that would be worth launching. Because I mean, we have January, that's about half a year before the next update. And, well, and so just just for the back end sort of things, Sky has had on his personal server a couple modded Minecraft servers up before. So yeah. He already has the knowledge and background for that, so it shouldn't be too hard. It'll be more discussing what people want and finding a general consensus is going to work for most people. Exactly. Because there's a lot of different mods out there and different styles, so we just want to gauge what would be the best for the community, what would accommodate the most people. So is it right if I say if anyone wants to be on the which mod modded I don't even know how to say this modded version. Mod, mod mod discussion. Yeah. I think I think try and take advantage of the Minecraft text channel to try and get some feedback started on that. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to make a post in there? Because I I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Um. If you're good with heading that, then to just I know there's been some Minecraft op discussion, mm -hmm. but I think it might be a good idea to try and get the community involved in discussion because. If the majority community wants one mod and some group wants another mod, you guys want me to talk things through. Yeah, so I, I can just put out a general post and ping the role and see if anybody has ideas for a mod, uh, if anybody has any preferences or would be interested, just to gauge whether or not it's even worth our time to do. Okay, I might actually, you know what I'm going to do though, is I am going to, hi Sky, uh, I'm going to put out an announcement to just make sure we get people into the Minecraft role because the roles are down right now, because Fish Sticks can't do them, right. to make sure that people get added to the Minecraft role so they can be involved in the discussion. Uh, Sky on a new Minecraft server modded version to replace the current one since nobody's really playing it. Okay, and are we talking like just at the moment? Do we want to do modded, or are we going to start discussing like what what's we're in starting the, the discussion on it? Whether okay. uh, I I would like to I would wouldn't mind doing a mod playthrough because yes. there's plenty of time to do one before the next update drops for vanilla. So what we're talking about is just getting people make sure that everybody interested in it is added to the role, and then. I'll send out a post just kind of in the Minecraft chat gauging interest from people. Basically, I think AJ summed it up in text perfectly. Run a, We're going to run an if people want a modded server, then we'll run, run a what kind of mods survey in also, the channel. Before we go any further, Sky, um, I know you're comfortable with a lot of modded servers. Are there any that are like off limits as far as backend setup? Because I don't know a lot about setting up servers that are modded. Uh, majority of mods are completely game. Um, yeah. I've already got a few mod packs I can already recommend that will work just fine. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of mods that like super rare that nobody really uses that mm -hmm. um, may be problematic, but I mean, I can tell you which ones they are. For the most part, I'm assuming we're looking at a mod pack like Tech It or Feed the Beast or Attack the B Team, those kind of things. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll try to type something up and maybe post it after the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you and I'll touch base just to get things rolling on that, Everett. Yeah, we can we can talk later about that and maybe get something sent out in the next couple yep. of days. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna leave that for the Minecraft text channel. We're gonna work on that. Sure thing. Uh, so going to the next point, uh, Kessa, 
your post says content subscription rule for users who would like to follow our content creators and being be pinged specifically for their stream slash videos. Something suggested by Everett. What's that about you two? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you. I already forgot the details, so you tell it. It was something okay. I put in the docket so we wouldn't forget because you had a question about it. Yeah. So I my question was I know we have a couple of people that um, stream like me and Neo. Um, I think there might be a couple more people that have the nod. But right now, how the nod works is you can basically just you can link your chat or link your stream or a video, or whatever, without it getting taken down immediately. So an idea that I had based on the fact that we have had some viewer or some members or people join the server looking for content creators. And on top of that, I know there's people that are in here. Um, yeah, but basically that's what I was saying. That was kind of what I was thinking, Amos. If we could have a role slash channel that was just for announcements. So anybody that had the role of, you know, streams or videos or whatever, what have you, could follow the channel. And that way we could, like, if I were going to stream, I could post it in there and at people, but it wouldn't ping the whole server. It just ping people who would be interested in catching streams or watching videos. And that could apply to anybody with the nod. They could have permission to post in there. So, so like a like a stream watchers role kind of thing? Yeah, like a, a watchers role or something along those lines. Um yeah, basically that's kind of what I'm thinking, Amos. Like I was gonna ask Sky if this was an idea that was okay. I was gonna ask Sky if that would be too difficult to add to fish sticks to just have like anybody with the nod, it could automatically just post a link to their stream if they ever go live, or if it was a YouTube channel, if they post a video. Mm -hmm. It would make the nod a little bit more of a useful role for anybody that is streaming or doing videos or content creation. And that way we wouldn't have to, because I feel bad whenever I'm streaming, like if I post in games chat, if there are people talking, but I want to make sure that people are notified, like I think it would make things a little bit smoother. Okay. Just a it, thought. I think you're maybe limiting the exposure of your content if only people who are in the, the role actually are going to see it. But it could, be a, it could be a channel that anybody could see. It just isn't, it might be muted to anybody. Yeah, I think, I think the idea is to have a channel specifically that the people with the nod are going to be able to post to. Everyone else will be excluded other than, of course, admins, because we're going to, have could well yes we need to make sure we have access to all, all channels but anyway nonetheless um allow but, but yeah and just the general members and recognize will not be able to post in it it'll just be a channel for people to that have the nod to post their stream and hopefully do like a at stream watchers role so that people that want to watch a stream that gets popped up they know that it's live so exactly. Is it exclusively for streams, or what streams else would go in there? So the nod applies to both YouTube videos, I believe, and streams. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Amroth. I believe you're right. I believe it blocks YouTube videos. Well, like personal YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, referencing another video isn't a problem for posting in any channel, but I think mm -hmm. specifically posting your own stuff. Um, there could be potential to actually make use of this for other things too, for like, um, I think it's you, Nick, and some other people, you have that D&D &D post thing, right? Yeah, we have a podcast. So that would be a question I would have is, would we be, uh, would we be expected to put our links in this channel as well? Would you prefer to have it that way so it's easier to find, or do you, or are you fine with still just leaving it in the Hangout Lounge channel? I, I actually I have no issue with the way that things are right now. I, I, it's pretty easy to just put something in Hangouts and yeah, at the tabletop roll. Okay. Might m that might be excluded then, Nick, and we might just focus on more Twitch streaming and YouTube video stuff. The whole concept of my idea is to improve 
engagement and make it easier for anybody with the nod to basically get people into their streams or have at least exposure without just spamming everybody in the server who doesn't care. Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. I, I think, yeah, you're solving the spamming issue, but I think you're decreasing your exposure. Mm, I think, uh, yeah, it does make sense because if people aren't joining the roles, they're not going to be notified of it necessarily, but the channel will have a new message white text thing. So at least somebody might still check it. But yeah, I think next, right, it's probably going to decrease a little bit initially until we get things all sorted out and get people joining the role. Yeah, like I think an initially it's not going to have as much, um, like it doesn't even have to be its own channel. It could just be a role because if you posted it in games chat, everybody in games chat will see it, but only the people that have been pinged will get, or the people with the role will get pinged. So you can even do it that way to improve everybody seeing it right now. You and then maybe move it over if things got too crammed, if that makes any sense. Yep. That way you could kind of transition it over as more people got the mo the nod and more people started regularly using that role. Um, it could get its own channel, but I think initially it could just stay in games chat with the role and then people could see the role, join the role. And then once things got slightly too crowded, just shift it over to its own channel. That way you can keep the exposure initially. And then as the exposure builds, move it to its channel. Yep. That all makes sense to me. I, I think that um, I, the other guys and I would probably use a channel of that kind. It wouldn't make any difference to us one way or the other. Uh, your podcasts? Yeah. Yes. Because we we just we just ping the the tabletop roll. We don't. Yeah. So I mean, it'll be it would be the same either way. Um, who typically does the post? It's not you. Well, Nick. it it's... alternates a lot between me and Regera. Regera. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll see. I, I'm not sure. Did you actually? Do you and Regera have the nod neck? Yes, I believe we both have the nod. You do, yep. You do. Okay, perfect. Maybe we we might might do that, but for now, I think for you guys, it might be easier to just leave it where it is. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. If if if. if, if it makes more sense for us to post it there. It's again, it doesn't. It won't be any more effort either way. Six of one, yeah. half dozen of the other. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um. Okay. So I think th in that case, um, it's going to be have to be more of a discussion and trying to figure out name of the channel and what we want to do with it. Um, Sky's been pretty big on trying to. Re new channels but I think this is could be a useful channel to add so I'm we're gonna have to wait and see what he thinks as well um, uh, anybody else have any input on this I mean I've seen a couple of people saying it might be a nice idea to have a dedicated channel anyone else that has not spoken cared to speak on this I, I will say when I first saw the um, um, uh, the meeting uh, topic, I thought it was well. I mean, it says it was going to be a role. Was that just a miscommunication, or was that a, a different idea? Well, I think initially it was going to be a role, but a role is still going to get lost in other channels. Whereas a, a, having a channel and a role, it's one, a channel that we know where stuff's going to be and what's going to be in there. And then the role would expl exclusively be used just to let people know that streams are going live. So the, the, weird, the thing that would be kind of weird about that, I guess, is you'd be subscribed to the channel, right, effectively. But it would be a kind of shotgun approach. Like you'd get a whole bunch of content, whether it was what you'd actually wanted to subscribe for or not, right? Yeah. Uh, for uh, initially, I think that might be the best idea. Just we don't have a lot of people here who do stream, so at least on the stream side of things, it might be a little bit. It might be fine for now, 
but maybe we want to split up roles, especially once Fist Sticks comes back online and we can make it easier to join and leave roles. Maybe have specific roles for specific people's dreams, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I can just imagine what Sky's going to say when he hears about that idea. There's just a handful of people with it right now, so I don't think there would be a crowded amount of content. Um, That's fair, honestly, what Sky said. So for voice record, Sky's saying, in his opinion, dedicated channel, get announcements posted in there on stream start. People could just watch the channel for posts or mute if not interested. Um, I, I agree that that's, that's a solid idea. Um, I, I think when we posted the thing in the docket, it was like a role or a channel. And that's kind of what I wanted to bring it to the meeting because this discussion would help us figure out what, what would be the best option, the best way to basically increase exposure while not spamming everybody. Gotcha, Amos. Uh, I'm just going to wait to see what AJ has to say, and then I think we move on to the next topic if there's not going to be too much more discussion on this, because it sounds like a channel might be the best way to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, uh, AJ is one or the other channel, but he'd prefer both. Okay. Um, I think... Council just have to quickly figure out what we want to do exactly. It looks like the channel will probably be the best option, though. Just leave it as a stream-based channel to start, and then go from there as things grow and then increase or decrease. All righty, scrolling back up to the docket. Final thing. Uh, Kessa wants to know, would you like to play Star Wars Battlefront 1 Classic with us? Resounding yes. So we hosted a, earlier we had a staff test of whether or not this would work. And it, it worked out pretty well as long as I didn't tab away from the game. So I can't play, but I can host it and I can watch and uh, hear everybody killing each other. It was great fun. Uh, forgive me if I'm overstepping, but I do think there is also talk of potentially doing it with Battlefront 2 eventually as well. Absolutely. So for clarification, this is the OG Battlefronts. Yes. From One and two came out in 2004 and 2006, I believe. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Uh, I'm just going to do one thing here quickly. Oh, you beat me to it. Okay. Great minds. And even if you can't play with us at the moment, uh, if someone doesn't mind to stream who is playing, then you can still watch the fun. I planned on streaming as long as anybody in the channel is okay with it. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. So just the, those those two games. <laughs> <laughs> There's no confusion. The links are in the meeting hall chat room. <laughs> 20 bucks gets you two of the greatest games I've ever played. I don't even think it's 20 bucks, is it? 10 bucks for each. So 20 bucks gets you both of them. It's 25 bucks Canadian. -er. Oh, sorry. 23 technically. But anyway, I have both already, so I don't <laughs> care. Same. When did they put the first one on there? Because 04, I, I, I hadn't even. I didn't know that was on there. They've been up for a while. It's just that the servers have gone offline right. for them. So well, the Christmas sale is going to be coming up, and they'll probably be on sale again. So, Amos, to address your um, to address your question, we do have a newer role. It's um, 
the content creation team. I can't remember which channel it is. I'm looking. Um, C4, yes. And we've been, there are a couple people that are interested in writing in that channel. So, um, yeah, production studio. So I think I can give you that role if you'd like. Be added to that. Um, Because we got a couple different people that are doing different, either writing things or those kind of stuff. I'd be happy to add you to that if you'd like. Okay, so obviously there is um, uh, what? Why can I not think of words? Popularity. People want to play it. Traffic for people to play Battlefront One and Two. Um, so we will definitely have to be planning some things because we actually seems like we have a lot of people playing. Um, Kessa, question to you: Yes, Would, sir. Would you be up for maybe doing that for one of your free to play game nights on Wednesday as a shake up? Absolutely. Oh, cosine. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Cosine. Uh, yes, I'd be happy to do that. Just FYI, if Wednesday nights work for you, we might be able to plan something instead of a other game night, a uh, free to play game night, and do a Battlefront night. Are we? I actually have Monday available too. Anyway, there's 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 people wanting to play it, so we'll have to make sure we set up some events for that. Uh, I know that Kessa had posted in the announcements that she'd like to try and put a server up as soon as the meeting's over. So if you're interested in playing after the meeting, I have a game ready. Okay. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> and if Kess is not available, then I can I can definitely volunteer to help. You're able to get him into the role, Everett, for Amos. Yeah, we got him. Uh, we got him on there. Good to go. Okay. Well, that is the last of the docket. So it is now open floor time. Does anyone have anything they'd like to talk about, discuss, server stuff, game stuff, um, reminders for things coming up? Sure. Um, so this coming Tuesday, I'm going to be doing uh, a special edition of, of Next Nook. Um, it was, uh, my original intent was to read through, uh, a Christmas Carol, um, but it is much longer than I can reasonably get through, um, that evening. So I had opened it up to ideas for Christmas related short stories. So I was going to read, um, uh, things, things like how the Grinch stole Christmas and the Polar Express, um, things, things to that effect. Um, but I, um, would I guess I would I'm gauging the room. How would people feel if instead I showed um, a movie? Uh, be that being uh, a Muppet Christmas Carol. So we'd get the literary bit in, and also uh, do something kind of fun and different. Yeah, because. I'm not sure how long the was it, the Polar Express. I don't remember that one. So I don't remember how long that one is. But the ooh. book, it's pretty short. Okay, so both books should probably be done in like half an hour, forty-five minutes. As wait, Sheila. <laughs> I'm like I said, I don't remember the book. It's been a while, so I'm just. Are you planning to try and do both? Or are you planning just to do one, one or the, or the other. other? So yeah, I would be looking to see whether people would prefer Christmas short stories or a movie. For those who haven't seen A Muppet mm -hmm. Christmas Carol, it's one of the best Christmas movies that I'm aware of. One of the best Muppet movies, yeah, period. If you're a Muppets fan, you will love it.
right then. It seems like people are not saying anything. Are you people not paying attention? Movie or short stories? That's all right. If nobody has an opinion, I'll make a decision. <laughs> right. Just figured I'd try and poke people. Because everybody seems to be saying, hey, Christmas. Right. I think what I'm hearing is basically people are like, yay. So I think you're just going to have to either make decision the night of or try and, I don't know. Um, do you want us to maybe post an announcement to try and add, give people's opinions? Or you just kind of want to just leave it at the meeting, see what people say here I think and go the with people it. who are in here would be um, the more active people who would maybe... Uh, have an opinion. <laughs> so if 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 I didn't get a response here, then I'm uh, I'll, I'll make a decision. We have typing going on. Read the short stories while the movie runs. I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> no, it's great. Just just comprehension, you know? So, yeah, I think you're going to be good with either or, and I think it's just going to have to be left up to you, Nick. Yep. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, it's less work for me if I opt for the movie, and I didn't hear a lot of enthusiasm either way, so I'll probably just show him up at Christmas Carol on Tuesday. Okay. The, the Nook is getting a TV, let's just put it that way. It's still sort of literature. Yes. <laughs> literature, but with pictures. Ouch. Don't don't look at the gif. Don't look at the gif. Hurts. <laughs> See, I, I've, I have my Discord set so that my gifs only run when I put my mouse over them. How do you do that? How do you do that? Help me. Help. Help. <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're only helping. No. <laughs> Text and no. Uh, stickers. No, that's not it. I'll, I'll just ah, there it is. Okay. Images. Text and images. Under text and images, under user settings, automatically play GIFs when Discord is focused. Turn that to off. Thank you. Then it turns only when your mouse is over top of it. I will just say this to uh, to plug the, the movie. Um, my, Michael Caine is the best Scrooge I've ever seen. And the music is absolutely excellent. I can second that. I have seen it. My dad is a big Muppet fan, so seen it a couple times. All right. Um... I've got one thing unrelated uh, before you close out, but anybody else? Yeah, no, I was just looking. I know Amos just put a thing out uh, about another topic. Uh, just reading it out. I don't know if it's happened yet, but has anyone wanted to watch The Chosen together and then discuss it? There has been some interest in watching that show. My sister actually tried to stream it on Saturdays, but um, she was having difficulties with her streaming setup. So yes, Amos, that's something that actually almost happened before, and we would love to see it happen. That's It's a good series. What is it? Uh, what is it streamed on? Is it on a specific YouTube? Oh, okay, so it's a YouTube series, so it's free game for everybody. Uh, I think you can download the some kind of Angel app and watch it for free on mobile. But if you um, if you want to see it on your PC, you need to have a subscription to a certain website. That's why my sister was offering to stream it because she has that subscription. Is it Pure Flix or? 
I I wish she were here. She knows the details. Okay. Amos, sure. do you know the details? I love you. Okay, so I think there will have to be some organizing and contacting and discussing and putting an announcement out for that. Um, mayhaps have to get Amos and some other people in discussion to start planning this out. Um, not sure what people's opinions in here are of it. I don't recall exactly what it is, so I'm not sure if I'm interested. Might be, but it sounds like it's good to watch nonetheless. I'd have to look at it more to know if I'd be interested as well. Does anyone have a link or informational link that we can put in the text channel? Eroth beat me to it as I was typing. We're both in sync tonight. Goodness gracious. OK, here, I found the official trailer. I'm sorry, that's a horrible, ugly link. That hyperlink. Yeah. It still works. It's almost that's, as bad. Still like it still works, though. <laughs> okay. No, it's gone. It's gone. I, I'm putting a pretty link. Here's a pretty link. <laughs> My eyes, they don't hurt anymore. <laughs> So I believe it started as this director. He's he is a Christian, and he did a one-off after several of his other series that were not, as far as I know, really religiously themed, uh, had failed. He was in a bad place in his life. Um, he just did this one-off about uh, the Christmas story, and it it the reaction to it was so strong that he started exploring maybe doing a whole series around the same. Yeah, yeah, AJ. Um, and it's been completely apparently crowdfunded. Like it's, it's it, it doesn't happen like this. Most series do not make it when they're crowdfunded. This one has been very well funded. And um, there are people watching it from all over the world, including Antarctica. And yeah, it, it, they, they attempt to stay true to the gospel and they say straight up this is not the bible we're not saying things happen exactly this way there's some creative storytelling going on because there has to be but what we want to do is make the gospel accessible and um, understandable for people in a modern culture Right. Um, looks interesting, and uh, glad to hear, Ping Jockey, that your wife's doing well. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna have to. Uh, I got distracted by the trailer, but uh, we're going to have to probably put something together to try and do this again, to actually get it up and running again, because it sounds like it started and failed, but let's try again. Um, might need to have some DMs and conversations going on. Um, Amos. Kessa, maybe you two want to start talking about things and trying to discuss maybe setting something up? Well, um, I'll have Amos talk to my sister, hopefully. I'll ping, I'll ping gotcha. her because she, she actually tried to do this and she got as far as having technical difficulties and the baby won't get off me. <laughs> okay. 
Miss, are you dealing with a baby? All right, so I'm going to let you guys try and figure that out because until something gets organized on that and then we can start uh, posting some announcements about trying to plan ahead. I know that it's Christmas time, so it might be a little difficult to get it fit fitted in right now, but maybe like a New Year thing, maybe, like uh, start streaming it or start watching it in the New Year and start discussion. Not trying to push it away, but just know that there's going to be a lot of events and other Christmas parties going on, so hard to get traffic going. All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave that discussion continue if you guys are going to talk about it in the channel. But I believe, Everett, you said you wanted to bring up something that hadn't been covered tonight yet? Uh, yeah, it's more so just something I wanted to close with. So I kind of want to just make sure that everybody else had been, uh, everybody else that had any business or meeting points had been addressed and dealt with. Um, One more last call for other things? And then you want to talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Does anyone else have any open meeting business stuff that they want to bring up to, to talk about? Um, no wacky waving inflatable two men's. Um, anything else? Uh, I think you've got the floor, Everett. Uh, thanks. So, I'm not here to discuss anything um, that has been... What I'm saying is not to discuss anything that's been going on the server recently, because there's definitely... I think everybody here is pr probably aware of some of the different things going on in the server, and um, if anybody is anything like me, I have been very much troubled by it um i i hate the division it's uh it's not healthy um discussion is is usually healthy but the amount of division that's gone on recently is definitely not healthy and it, it it's burdened me quite a bit recently and i've i've done praying about it i've done a lot of thinking about it um and all i wanted to ask is for everybody in the channel and really just for us to pray for this as well is to act with and definitely pray for unity. Um, Cause I believe most everybody in this channel, if not everyone is, is a Christian and does claim to be a follower of Christ. And he calls his children to be, to act in unity. And at the end of the day, that's what brings glory to God um, is his children acting in unity. Cause our, our end goal and our purpose in life is to bring glory to him. So that also applies to how we handle disagreements and how we handle situations. So, I really just wanted to ask and uh, point out that, that that should be our end goal is unity among God's people. Um, Cause it's been very troubling for me to see a, a lot of what's going on. And I, I just want, I just want unity at the end of the day. And I think most of us do, and most of us should. And when we are having different discussions about disagreements, let's just make sure that that's, that's our end goal is to have unity. But yeah, no, that, that's all I had to say. Thank you for sharing, Everett. Uh, if you want to know more about what's happening, I can talk to you later. Peg, I don't want to go into all the details on it right now in the meeting. 
um, just to let people go on to do other stuff. But if you are interested, send me a DM and I'll see about getting you some more information to get you caught up. Other than that, an excellent reminder. And uh, I think we do, as a community, could use some unity right now. And we've had some issues. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I felt the same way. I've actually spent a day and a half Thursday and most of Friday taking a break from Discord. And it was a nice break, but I also felt the same thing. I think a lot of people would agree at the, deep down that's that's what they want. Um, sometimes it can be hard to it can be hard to apply that want to what we're how we how we have our conversations. Um, but I think that's the that's definitely the lens we need to make sure that we keep on hand. How what what have you seen recently that's been troubling you? Um, like I said earlier, I, I don't want to go over it in the channel. That's, that's not the point of my, my comment. It's that back and forth just between everybody. I don't see a lot of unity and I, and I think there isn't a lot of unity right now in a lot of things. And it's more so just a general, I'm asking of everybody to definitely pray about it and to just keep in mind, um, that that should be, and that is our end goal. So that's just. That's all I'm saying. I'm not interested in having a discussion. I'm just pointing that out because um, it's it's been very troubling for me to watch a lot of what's going on. All right. Well, if there is nothing else for the meeting, um, and I think we're good to go on finishing up and wrapping up here. Um, I don't think we have anything closed wise to talk about today. I can't think of anything and I know there's nothing on the docket. So I think at this time I will call the meeting adjourned and do you want to stay here to play a game or you guys want to move to like game room one or something? I'm cool to hop down to it.